Hi guys, how are you doing? So we're looking at a sneak peek of day five. Day five, my expression is divine. It represents the Vishuddha chakra, which is the throat chakra. And this is the content, folks, of day five of Fusion 7 Healing Foundation Retreat. So the first thing we're going to be looking at is the effects of other people's energy. So we're going to be discussing that because many people who are empaths and intuitive are very much affected by the energies of others. So we will be having a peek at that. We'll be doing some clearing for that. The next workshop of the day is for transtemporal experiences. So transtemporal just basically means beyond this timeline. Now this is a very fascinating subject actually because we tend to think in terms of um, past lives, present lives or future lives, but in fact it's all one and the same. And we go into understanding and deciphering and decoding how that actually works and why people tend to call it past, present and future when in fact it's just snippets of other times and places that are all coexisting at once. So then we're going to go into transtemporal healing. So we're going to do some transformation for that. And we will be doing some healing without verbal interaction. Very important to be able to locate and transform a situation without having any verbal interaction whatsoever. Then we're going to talk about timelines. So timelines is very much about like this timeline. So from zero years old all the way up to whatever I am now and whatever I'm going to be, we can do different types of healing along that scale of time. It's just another tool, basically. Then we're going to talk about distance and remote healing. Distance and remote healing is a very fascinating subject because people tend to think that, they, that if they are not in the same room, that they cannot transform something. So this is just a belief, it's just a program, and that in itself is something that does need to change. We're going to discuss group healing. And a lot of times group healing is not performed in a, um, a very effective or beneficial way. Sometimes it can have the opposite effect. It can be detrimental to our health. So we're going to look at how we can set that straight and how to do it correctly. We're also going to look at the main power current, which is the human energy field of the physical body. That's going to be very interesting. So we've got some main power currents. This is more kind of the metaphysical stuff that run on either so the poles of the body, excuse me, either side. So we're going to look at the clearing of those, the clearing and the correcting of those two. And also correcting our personal interior, just like our house. We need to correct it. We need to clean it, right? We're going to look at we're going to look at the lavda concept or lambda as it's spelled in the English language, which is one of the brain waves that we use in order to be able to connect to primary source when we are doing a healing. And that, my friend, is how we're going to finish the day. So thank you very much for listening in to the sneak peeks of day five of Foundation Retreat. Don't forget, sharing is caring. Don't forget to follow on Periscope and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Helen Christodoulou. You can also come over to Facebook. Helen Christodoulou is my author page where you can subscribe to or get into the actual event of Fusion 7 Healing Foundation Retreat and check out lots of info over there. Thanks very much for joining me today and I'll check you out again real, real soon. Stay safe. Ciao.